was able to help a large proportion of my patients in my practice, but the more difficult patients, I felt I felt like a bit frustrated. I felt like I didn't quite have all the tools I needed to truly help them. More complex cases like chronic fatigue syndrome, severe fibromyalgia, chronic um, infectious disease like neuro neuroborreliosis you know, with, with co-infections such as Rubesia, Ehrlichia, Bartonella, you know, people that had multiple infections, neurodegenerative diseases, those kinds of patients. And there was even an, a kind of a nagging sense in me that although I might be making a person feel better, I might not truly be getting to the root of what's going on with them even though I was sincerely trying. And maybe I was providing kind of a crutch for them to just function better, but not necessarily heal completely. Well, it's provided a window into what's really going on for the patient. So by accessing the innate intelligence of the individual, it's a, it's a key to the truth, really, about what's going on and all the underlying factors that are involved, things that, that seem readily apparent and things that you would never have thought about with your mind. For example, some infections, we don't have great tests to, to diagnose. Um, certain intestinal parasites you may, stool tests will miss. Um, there's many strains of Babesia, for example, that we don't have testing methodology for. And then there's the cases where you don't, you, like in Western testing, you might measure antibodies against a particular virus, but you don't really know, is that, is that evidence of past immunity or is it indicative of current infection? So it, 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 you're able to differentiate these kinds of things. And, um, and then there's just so many other factors that we don't have the ability to test for that the BAH will identify, such as electromagnetic sensitivity, or geopathic stress, or um, that the person actually has the most predominating, uh, like a, a spiritual issue. You might have a, an inkling of suspicion about that, but you really get to ask the person, the person's intelligence if that is the case. Even though I thought of myself as a holistic physician before, that there's a whole new definition of that term. I mean, really looking at factors that the environment and the person in their environment and, and you know, just all of these different factors that, that I wasn't considering before has really helped me to, to help people truly heal. There will be no going back for me because it's like when you have this tool to, to really ascertain the truth, it, it feels like you're absolutely uh, cheating and failing and doing wrong. Um, to, to not use it. Um, so I know I will be using it from here on out, and I'm just so grateful to have found it.